Hey guys, me Ronald Chris Tomer here with this afternoon mountain weather update. All right, here's what I'm seeing this afternoon. So still seeing two snow bullseyes. I like the Tetons and I like the Sierra. And you can see the dates, the, the timeline there for snow. There's more than one shot, in some cases two or three different shots of snow. Because what we're going to see are areas of low pressure hit the West Coast, California, Oregon. And then the pieces of those will break off and get blown up into the interior Rockies of like the Wasatch. Um, pretty good flow with overlap over the Tetons. That's why we're going to see some big numbers there. And also into parts of Colorado, we're going to see this, this pattern shake out as well. Now in the Northeast, your next snow chance is PM215 into 216. If you're curious about um, timelines, I want to take you over to my, my blog first, and then we'll get to the water vapor. But ChrisTomer.com, I tend to do one blog update a day, sometimes two, but generally one. And on this, I, I do put snow timelines. So if you want to see when the bulk of the snow is going to come down by range, you can take a look at it there in my blog post. I usually do at least three or four places, Tetons, Wasatch, Colorado, and the Sierra. All right, let me take you back to water vapor and show you the setup here this afternoon. Area of low pressure here, that's what's been producing and generating that snow in the Tetons. And also in the uh, the Wasatch, um, there's another storm system behind that. There's another one there and another one behind that. So we've got a parade of uh, low pressures all lined up. And a very interesting jet setup. So the southern branch is way down here. Uh, helped to fuel that storm system today up in the northeast. These first two lows will continue on their, their trajectory. The bottom or the last two will get picked up by a jet streak. And eventually that'll come in as part of a larger trough um, to keep things going later in the period, like 218, 219, 220, 221, 22, and so on. So everything will have its place. Um, let me just show you what the forecast is for integrated vapor transport. So with each one of these low pressures, it looks like it's going to they're going to deliver a low level of amount of atmospheric river moisture. So there's some contribution into California, and that's one of the reasons you can see the little spikes here, weak atmospheric river contribution with these into that central California coast around San Francisco, 38 north, 123 west. So that's what's going to help to fuel the snow bullseye for the Sierra. You've got all this moisture coming in with these different storm systems. Here's the jet stream pattern. So that's uh, the current pattern end of close today. You can see how everything's being guided in. Um, I'll just run this through. So there's 215, 216, there's 217. Here comes that those last two areas of low pressure, that larger trough moving into California, 219, 220. Then it moves into the interior. It breaks loose and takes a lot of that moisture into the interior. So let's put some moisture on this. Here's the forecast radar and satellite. Current state of affairs, you've got a little bit of snow up there in the Tetons and into Montana. Then we start to see a little bit of snow there in the Wasatch, a little more right here, 215, 216. Look at that boundary where the snow is being focused from the Tetons down to the Wasatch and down into the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Here's 217. Here's 218. Next storm system moves into the interior with the leftovers. Another storm system hits the west coast. This is 220. Here's 221, send some moisture into the interior. 222, another batch, another storm system comes out. So it's storm system after storm system crashing into the west coast, California, Oregon, sending pieces of energy and moisture into the interior throughout the period. And a lot of it just comes down to timing it out. Um, so here it is. This is the rest of today into tomorrow. Maybe an inch in the Wasatch, three to four for the Tetons. Maybe one to two in the central and northern mountains of Colorado. And a pretty good shot, especially on 214 and the 215 of snow um, that will hit the, sea, hit the Sierra around Tahoe and Shasta. Okay, period two. Pattern shifts a little further to the south. You have more of a focus uh, to some snowfall there in the Wasatch. And a big period for the Tetons, one to two feet uh, for the Tetons, six to eight. For the Sierra, about a foot up there in Bachelor and Timberline. And look at the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Probably 4 to 10 inches of accumulation. And Steamboat, Cameron Pass, Buff Pass, probably going to have to up those numbers a little bit. Um, maybe do around a foot for those areas. I think there may be more of a northwest flow, west-northwest flow contribution into that area. Okay, um, final period, 218 to 222. Another foot for the Tetons, and I've got a grand total map for the Tetons coming up. Probably another four to six for the Wasatch, and maybe another two to six in Colorado. 
And this is going to be the big period for California, 218 to 222, looking at three, maybe four feet, uh, excuse me, two to three feet of snow um, for the Sierra, two to three feet. So, you know, you, you look at that in some total, grand total, probably, probably two to four feet grand total in the Sierra, two to four feet. Now, if I show you what I'm thinking here for, for the Tetons, looking at about three feet of total accumulation across the Tetons between 213 and 222, grand total. Let's go to the Northeast. So most of this snow comes 215 into 216, and a lot of it's across the northern tier through parts of northern New York, and some degree to Snow Ridge, Whiteface, but also up into Stowe, Mad River, Jay Peak, uh, Mount Washington. So that's kind of a northern preference there. And there might be a nice, nice little pocket around Mount Snow as well. But um, most of that snow, again, comes 215 and 216. And there's probably another storm around 222. I didn't include it here. This ends on 221. But there's probably another storm around 222, maybe 223. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this afternoon Mountain Weather Update. Always appreciate you tuning in here, and take care.